Hi everybody, let me just find myself on, there we are, check the volume. oh better check the volume, yes, oh no just turned it right up, that's it, right, hi everybody, Saturday afternoon here in the UK and so it's time for a live, <laughs> thank you so very very much to everybody who's been sending in their collaborative pages, uh, their pages for our collaborative journal should I say, um, Every day now the postman's dropping some through the letterbox and it's really, really exciting. And some of you, although it is not necessary at all, but some of you are sending me the, oh, the nicest things. And, you know, I'm putting them to use almost straight away, some of them. That, and, and, and others are just too nice, probably will never use them because they're so nice to just look at. Uh, so thank you very much for all of that. All your pages are securely put away in drawers down here. Um, and I have a plan of how I'm going to unveil them all to you. So I do have a plan, <laughs> which I know is uh, infrequent, it happens here. I just want to show you a couple of little things that came along with some pages. I showed you this before, but it's just so pretty. It bears another trip out. It's from Pat Fleet and it was in with her page. And it just says, you encourage me and I love that and I, of course I love these colours they're beautiful so thank you for that Pat because not only do I encourage you but you guys encourage me so it's a two-way street there so I have that sitting looking at me along with a rogues gallery of cards here and this is the other card that I wanted to show you have you ever it's just so beautiful it's from Candace Andrews and it's oh stunning isn't it look at that so i thought you might like to see that it's it i mean there's even glitter on these little bits it's really 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 pretty and it's up with my other cards along there so thank you very 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 much for that now today we're doing a giveaway i mean we do these fairly often i suppose really we do giveaways um but you've seen me these last few weeks and during the week I put out some videos of just finishing off these folios um, so you know what's inside them. One was the sort of prototype if you like so it's um, been enhanced <laughs> for this one so this I suppose is the best giveaway probably and then this one and then I have this other um, little file that I came across and I really I can't, I can't even remember making it. I must have made it in my sleep or something. I don't know. Maybe I made it on a live. I really can't remember. But it's just a little um, tiny little folio. It's got this um, collage here with a little bit of bling there, Jen. Uh, and an, an acetate window here, tag that comes out and some butterflies behind that. So that's quite pretty. Um, some die cuts, collage bits. And over here, we've got this collage here and um, a nice little journal that's really usable. And you can use that, pop it back in, take it with you, whatever it is you want to do. And it's made in this lovely sort of stripy ticking type paper, which I love. It's probably my favorite of any papers actually is ticking. And I think this is from My Porch Prints. Oh, blimey, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, I can't remember anything about it. No recollection of ever making this in my life. But obviously I did, unless somebody stole it through the night and made it and left it for me. Um, but it's just got press stud there and that's it. It's fairly plain, but you can definitely decorate that yourselves, I'm sure. So that will be number three in the giveaway. So number one is the, the nicer of the two of these folios, the ones that we adapted as we went through, um, which is that one with wildflowers on the front. And then this will be, that's, that's number one. This is number two. And this, um, which I really like actually, this little folio here will be number three. But we'll get to that later on. Because prior to that, I'm going to make you watch me <laughs> do some journaling. I know that's a bit cruel. 
but we will get to that in the not too distant future. So I have started a new journal and it's a journal that hopefully I'll get in my Etsy shop one day. Um, and what it is, is four journals, which will be spring, summer, autumn and winter. And they will be within a sort of uh, box stroke bookcase that Mr. F will make for me. Um, and within each journal, there will be three, four journals, three signatures in each journal. So the spring one will have March, April, May, the summer one, June, July, August, etc. Going around like that. So I've started with spring and I've started with March. And this is how far I've got so far. I found a nice new shop on Etsy for you guys. Somewhere else to spend your money. Uh, and it's called Liana Scrap. And uh, the sets, the kits, have got some really, really nice paper, uh, papers on in them, and the lovely quality as well, the images. So um, that might be one worth looking at. They're not really bank breaking. They're um, quite a nice price. Oh no, don't say we're infested with flies again. Um, so anyway, before I begin, let's have a roll call. Roll call. Uh, Maureen. Hi, Maureen. Max. Hello, Max. I haven't seen you for a while. Nice to see you. Cherise. Hi, Cherise. Pat Fleet. Pat. Oh, Pat. Thank you. Carol Beading. Can I just say about Pat? She's so good at answering questions on in the group. She before because sometimes I don't know what Facebook does. Sometimes it just doesn't bring up the most recent things for me. And Pat's on the button. She's there. She answers things. I'm very grateful to you for that, Pat. Thank you. Carol Beading. Yeah. Hi, Carol. Hillary. Hillary. Hilda. Hilda. <laughs> I thought we had a new. I've got my glasses on. Thought we had a new person. Hi, Hilda. Mary Blake. Hello, Mary. That's a new name to us. Welcome along. Martha Ludma. Hello, Martha. Uh, Helen Adams. Hi, Helen. Donna. Hello, Donna. Thanks for joining. Kerry. Kerry. Lynn. Kerry. 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 Lynn. 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 Which Lynn? Uh, Lynn Whitman. Lynn. Hello. Corinne. <laughs> Hi, Corinne. Uh, Deborah. Deborah. Blimey. Rose. Rose. We're all here today. Uh, Nancy A. Walser from Colorado. Hello, Nancy from Colorado. Thanks for joining us. I'm sure it's some ungodly hour there. I think that's everybody. Okay. Well, I've th forgotten yet. Thank you ever such a lot for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's always nice to not be talking to yourself. <laughs> Karen Collin. Hello. <laughs> yes, the spending continues, Max. These papers, though, really weren't too expensive uh, at all. Um, Martha saying hello, Mr. F. Right. So um, this is this this is the spring journal, and this is the March signature. There will be more going into it, but I just want to walk you through what I've got in it so far, and you'll see it's slightly different from the journals I ordinarily do. For one thing, it's a sewn-in signature journal, and usually I do ring-bound journals. And the other thing is, it has more inclusions of different sorts of paper. Normally, I can't much see the point in that, really. Sharon Brunner. Ah. Oh. He says hello. Hi, Sharon. Thank you for your, all not, your not to forget anybody. for all your contributions on the page, Sharon, uh, on the um, Facebook group. We have, for those of you who don't know, we have a sister sort of Facebook group that goes along with this, and it's called Miss Paint-a-Lot's Junk Journal Group. And if you'd want to pop over there once the video's finished, guys, don't leave me. Um, and join up. You'd be more than welcome. We're a, a good little group, that is. Really good. Uh, so Nancy, yeah, she's got a coffee hour there. Oh, coffee, yeah, lovely. Uh, Max Bingham says, could I put the name of the shop, shop up? She didn't catch it. Yeah, it's Liana Scrap. L-I-A-N-A. You probably find Etsy. it on Etsy, yeah. I'll get a yeah. link. Um, and Hilda's all loved up. Look, lovely, lovely eyes. Lovely Hilda. Right. Here we go. So front front Leon L I A N A. Yeah. And then don't leave a space, just put scrap. Scrap. And it should come up. Is that it? Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so this is one of the pages out of the kit. Uh, it's this lovely uh, yellow bird sitting in what I think is possibly apple blossom. It looks very spring-like to me. I really like it to kick us off. And on the back, we've got some journaling space, which is always appreciated. Um, I think sometimes it's forgotten about, actually, the journaling space. It is a journal. You do need space to write in it. So there's plenty of space there and these lovely daffodils. And this is the... Um, well, this is some wallpaper, but this is the back of the wallpaper, if you like. So what I've done is my trick with the um, the stencil, my free stencil. Uh, this is this is where I've cut out my die cuts, uh, and this is what was left. So I've been using this as a stencil. So Leslie M says hello. Hello, Leslie M. And Happy Crafters, which is she owner. Finally, uh, catching alive. Yeah, you certainly are. Shiona, there you go. That matches Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're twins. Um, and Charisse, Max. Oh, yeah, it's so nice to see you all. It really is. Um, so this page, yeah, look, it's uh, wallpaper. That was the wallpaper. It was a sample that I acquired. You all know about my... <laughs> I sample, getting samples. Um, and I just uh, put those little stencils on there and it just breaks the plainness up. I did also spray some green um, ink, but it was so dilute, it didn't really work very well. So as a consequence, I have ordered some uh, of the Tim Holtz spray stain stuff. This stuff, Distress Spray Stain. But the only colour I've got is picked raspberry. Um, so I've ordered it in um, mode long, I think, um, which is more in keeping with uh, spring, I think. And then I made this tag. Now I'm really into this, using pastel card behind the paper to make a, a border. I don't know, I can't remember when I first did that. I mean, it's only really recently, um, but I really like it. It sets it off. And it gives you somewhere really sturdy and nice to uh, to journal on, on the back. So I'm just going to push those stitches down. Sometimes on the back they get a bit rough. And I've done it, if you've been watching me for a while, you will have seen me do this before. I just put a book page down. And then I decoupage on top of the book page so you can still see the text coming up. And then what I what I have done in the past is just stenciled through with some uh, some of this ink, distress ink. But this time I wanted a greeny colour and I didn't have one. So what I've done is I have used some eyeshadow that I'm pretty sure I've had since the 70s. <laughs> Maybe the 80s, I don't know, but that, you know, it's <laughs> it's knocking on a bit. So I used that just on my finger and I just <laughs> Rubbed it over. Was there a name of the particular kit on Linny? Um, spring Fling. Spring Fling. And Spring something else. There's two kits here. They both start with Spring though. Um, yeah, so I use my eyeshadow on there. <laughs> so I think that's a pretty good tip actually. If you've got eyeshadow you want rid of or you don't use very much. I mean, can you imagine it? No, it's not, it's not me any longer. I don't know that it ever was, actually, because I don't think it's ever really been used. It's pretty new. <laughs> so I don't think I'd ever... <laughs> don't think I'd ever used it, actually. <clears throat> Ideas above my station. But it looks quite nice on there. And I've picked it out, picked out that colour with this gorgeous organza ribbon bow. I am really, really loving these organza bows. They're so soft, so feminine, so pretty. So that's that journaling card. And I made a pocket uh, just with some card that I had uh, in my stash. Actually, it was in my rubbish pile because I only had a little bit of it. Uh, when I say rubbish, I don't mean rubbish. I mean quality rubbish. <laughs> um, and I just made a, a little, I put some gauze behind there, Hilda. <laughs> uh, and a little, I think that's from the Tim Holtz field notes thing and a butterfly. That's it. 
Uh, and then I sewed some, I, I sewed all around the page and I sewed down some lace down there because I like it when you see the edge and it's all lacy. So that goes there. Oh, I've forgotten my back page, that's it. Um, now this is, uh, this is the wallpaper that was a sample from the range. I was chatting to Hilda one day on uh, Messenger and she said she'd been to see her friend and her friend had got this go these gorgeous samples from the range. So I thought, right, get your coat, Mr. F, we're off to the range. Now for us, that's a bit of a journey. It's best part of 30 miles there and 30 miles back. Uh, that's our nearest sort of town, really. Um, and I was quite disappointed when I got there because they've built a blooming great supermarket in the middle of the range. And uh, everything else, it sort of, there wasn't the rain, there wasn't the range in the range anymore. Um, but I got this and I like it. It's in keeping with what we're doing. This was a card that someone sent me in with their um, sub submission for the collaborative journal. And this was what was left of the card that they hadn't written on uh, that I cut out. <laughs> I made my little dimensional butterfly, bit of music down there, and this paper that Hilda sent me ages ago. Well, not ages ago, quite recently. And this is that same paper. I wish I could remember where I got these from. I can't remember, I'm afraid. I've only bought them recently as well. Uh, and some uh, Tim Holtz wildflower die cuts up there and a little bit of um, cotton with some words on in the spring rain and that just tucks up into that tuck spot now then this is where it all starts going a bit strange for me not me going strange because i've been going strange for some time i might always have been strange actually right so this has got a paper clip on it look at the size of that paper clip right it's quite normal it's just an ordinary paper clip and then look at the size of this one <laughs> <laughs> it's so big it's so big it's like a comedy paper clip I mean that that's normal that's just a normal size and look at this one and that arrived today uh, in with someone's journal submission and I would like to say it was Florence's journal submission um, and she'd popped a bag in full of oh lovely things thank you Florence um, and in amongst it was this and I just absolutely fell in love with it I adore it so it will come into our journal further down <laughs> down the road but I just wanted to show you it because it's ridiculously funny Candice has joined us hi Candice and Carol Candice you missed me showing this I was showing your card off to everyone telling them how proud I was to have it it's just so beautiful. It's all matted even on the inside. It's gorgeous. So proud to own that. Thank you very much. Um, so this page here is a page out of a book. And I don't normally do that in my journals. I normally just have coffee stain paper or part of the design kit. But I wanted to include a bit more in here. So I've included, this says bird watcher. Fairly appropriate. And down here... It's got blue tits and robins, which in Britain are very, they're ubiquitous, they're everywhere. And I've made two journaling cards. Same, same old, same old here. I've, I've, um, that's just a bit of the kit, actually. I've cut it out, I've sewn around it, and then I've stuck it onto some card, which I think is, is great for um, journaling on. This one, I didn't sew around the card. I forgot, if I'm honest with you. Uh, so I zigzagged around the outside, but it, it looks nice. It's just got a little... Happy crafters so you work at the range. Oh, my goodness me. Mm -hmm. I would be absolutely broke. I'd never pay my blinking mortgage at all. So that's my two um, cards that go into there um, like that. But this folds out. So you can see it says birdwatcher on that side. And I didn't want to cut it, obviously, because that's the bit I wanted. But it, it tells you about how to go about bird watching and uh, what you might see out of your garden or in your street or whatever. And little swallows there as well. So I, I really liked that page and I wanted to include it. 
Um, and I will get round to decorating this paper clip at some stage, but not quite yet. And on the back of that, I've got this gorgeous little vellum. Once again, this vellum here came from an auction. Mr. F bought several boxes of what was described as craft items at an auction for, you know, next to nothing. Brought them all home. And at the time I wasn't doing paper crafts, I was doing textiles. And so, you know, I looked through them and said, yes, they're lovely, dear. Um, put them away somewhere. And of course, now I'm doing paper crafts. I'm rifling through all those things. And I found this beautiful sheet of vellum. It's really lovely. So I made a little envelope using one of the templates that I think I shared with you on the Facebook group and put a, a, a couple of little journaling cards in. I haven't sewn around them, but I have backed them in coffee stain paper and they just go um, into there. Like so. And it helps to bring out the, to show you the pattern on the vellum. And I've just put some ribbons down there and I'm sliding that under there. So that paper clip's doing double duty. This is a design sheet from the, the, um, kit. There are two kits here from Liana Scraps. One is Spring Fling and the other is Spring something else. For the love of me I can't remember what it is but you'll see if you go there and you have a look you'll see. Uh, she's actually got three spring doodahs. Uh, one I haven't bought yet <laughs> but I might. It's, I think there's two Spring Flings One's papers and one's collages, possibly something like that. Uh, and there's another spring. There is Happy Spring. Oh no, I haven't seen that one. Uh, spring Junk Journal Digital Kit with 18 double pages and the Spring Fling and the Spring Bohemian. No. You have to have a look, guys. I can't there's, remember. There is a second Spring Fling as well. There's yeah, two. there's two Spring Flings, but there's another spring that I've got, but I can't. I just can't remember what it's called. Anyway, you'll find it if you look. Part of the joy of it, isn't it? So this is another design page. Look how appropriate this is with the daffodils and the tulip. And um, I'm not exactly sure what that is. It's some sort of um, marigoldy gerbera daisy of the veld or whatever they're called. Uh, and I've put some lace down there. I put some different lace there to the lace that's here because I was afraid I wouldn't have enough of this lace for the whole journal. So I thought I'd chop and change a bit. So that's plain and on the back of that page is journaling, which is great. So then we come to another one of these inclusions and this folds out like that. Um, and that's, it, it's just lovely. I really love it in its simplicity. I think it's really nice. This is called Fat Hen. <laughs> I was going to cut it up a bit from there, but I wanted to include Fat Hen because I just think it's funny. <laughs> um, you'd find that more funny if you were Scottish because in Scotland they refer to their wives as hen. <laughs> so on that page, uh, on this, when you open this up, I want to have this. And this is a lot really bright for me. I know it is, but I, I like these really bright spring colours. So this is, those of you that have been following for some while will know that I have an Edith Holden uh, CD-ROM, that'll show you how old it is, of loads of designs that are not copyright that you can use. Uh, and this is in that uh, collection. And it's March, so it's entirely appropriate. It's got the daffodils on and it's got um, Daffy Down Dilly is come up to town in a yellow petticoat and a green gown. There you go. <laughs> Poetry is us. And it's got uh, daffodils on the reverse. So that's going to go into there and I'm going to do a bit of stuff there. So that's the first thing I'm going to do today. But I'll, I'll walk you through the rest of it. Um, this here is a design page. Isn't that gorgeous? It's really lovely. I love it. And it's blank here and blank here. And this is the page that we did. Uh, if you watched me through the week. I think that was this week. <laughs> I'm so confused with life. Help me. 
honestly, I don't know whether I'm coming or going these days. Uh, and what I intend to do, I'll just take that out for the second. What I intend to do, I've sewn down each side of, of, of all of, you know, there, there, there and there. Uh, and I'm going to sew across the top. So I will, in effect, have two big pockets. And uh, this is an idea that I got from Angela Kerr. Uh, a surname spelt K-E-R-R. -R. Look her up on YouTube, guys. She is wonderful. She's so clear, so concise. She's so exact. If you like the things I do, I know you love the things that she does. Um, so pop over there and have a look and subscribe to her channel and uh, you'll, you know, you'll love her. So it's, that's just, a, this is a journal page that I shrunk down and there is a um, video on my tu on my uh, YouTube channel Mr Fix it shows you how to print more than one page to to a page more than one image to a page um, and I think that was four to the page and that's going to go in this pocket that we're going to make like so and it's going to tuck up under there but if it doesn't want to tuck up under there then I have the solution. <laughs> I've got this gigantic paper clip. Look at that. It's fabulous, isn't it? I adore that. It's brought me so much joy. <laughs> so that uh, little booklet is to make yet and everything else. So that's where we're at with that page. Uh, then it's this. Now this came out of the same book as the bird watching and I'll show you the book it is because if you ever see it it's fabulous. It's called Nature Trail Book of the Countryside and it's it's absolutely fabulous. It's, it really is one of the best books I've ever had and that's saying something I've had an awful lot of books but the images in it um, and the the, the clarity that things are, are writ written, you know, you can really, um, usually when it's a book on nature, you look at the pictures and that's kind of about it. But this sort of, you, you want to read it. It's really, um, it's, it's just a lovely book. So that's what it's called, Nature Trail Book of the Countryside by Osborne. Uh, and you can see Mr. F paid 175 for it. 175 very well spent that was. Yeah, v says, good day from Tennessee. Oh, I've just knocked you. Good day from Tennessee. Well, I bet it is a good day in Tennessee. We had our summer yesterday. We're back to normal today. Of needing your socks on and <laughs> everything else. Um, so this this is the page that I chose, which has got the flowers on it. And this lovely blue background. I wish I hadn't cut it. I've, I've cut it slightly at the bottom and I've cut it slightly at the sides and it's bugging me now so I may change it and if I do change it I'll probably change it for this one because this is about spring birds my spring bird list song thrush great tip blackbird chuff chaff cuckoo um, and it's just kind of about birds and where they nest and then on the back there's these hatchlings which is very spring, you know, they, oh, coffee's arrived, thank you. Um, this um, mummy swallow has come to feed her baby, and I think that's very, very um, evocative of spring, so that might go in there instead. Then this is an Edith Holden page, um, and it's this poem, March, by William Wordsworth, I, de I definitely wasn't going to cut that, so I folded that over. And I might pop an envelope or something in there. We'll see where we get to. This is a design page. Right, the kit, journaling space. This is another book that I've got. Um, and these are spring flowers. This... Oh, calamity. This is this Book of Victorian Flower Album by Henry Terry. Max would like to know if the pages are glossy in that book. Yeah, they are a bit. They are a little bit. But if that's really, really going to bug you, the thing to do is get transparent gesso and um, cover it with transparent gesso. 
That way then you can write on it if you want to and it'll take the um, shine off it. To be honest, it ordinarily would bother me, but for some reason it's not in this book. But if it comes to the fact that it, it does uh, annoy me, let's see if I can just find my transparent gesso, build my way out of here. Yeah, there we are. This is uh, PBO uh, gesso and it's transparent. You don't need a pot this size, obviously. But if you if you put it on, it will it'll do away with that uh, shine. I'd call that a sheen rather than a shine, to be honest. Um, but that's the way to get rid of that. And then you can still write over it. So that's the solution to that one. Um, so this is the, the book that this came from. And it's what I've done is I've gone through it and pages like this that are the center of the signatures. They've got string or thread there. And if you cut those, then you can pull each one out and you end up with a double page, um, which you can use in your in your journal. So that's that. This is a design page with some journaling on it and some lilac, which is beautiful. Journaling on the back there. And then this, which is a March page out of Edith Holden with some of that gorgeous text that she has in her book. And, you know, you can read all of that. You can read a diary um, entries for March 10th, 12th, 13th, 14th and 20th there. And I've just folded that over, but that is my middle spread. Um, and it says March and it's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's really, really lovely. I did have to cut a little bit off the bottom and a little bit off the top. So it's just a bit too wide, too long that way. Um, but I couldn't bring myself to cut anything off the side. So I've just folded them over. Uh, that's the back of that with the eggs. Um, so you can tell if you come across some eggs what they, what, um, what brand I was going to say, <laughs> what breed of birds they are. Um, useful thing, some journaling there out of the kit. Uh, that page, which is lovely, isn't it? It's just beautiful. This is the other side of the uh, flower page. Once again, um, Candice, I would say that is, I think it was Candice that was asking. Yes, it has a sheen to it, but I, I can live with it. I can really, I can really live with that. It's, it's okay. It was Max was asking. Oh, it's Max. Tea. Sorry, Max. She says, thanks for the tip. Okay, cookie. Um, this has got some nice journaling on. It's beautiful. It's lovely with this blossom. Um, and that's the other side of the... I've printed the, the pages, obviously, double-sided. So, you know, otherwise you'd have to stick two together and there's no need for it. So here's the other side of that um, March Edith Holden page. Uh, and we, we're carrying on, actually, March 25th, 28th. And 31st there's the other side of the flower page that we had oh they're so lovely aren't they they're so pretty and the other side of the page that you saw me make which needs a, a journaling card in there Chatty Manny says, <laughs> Chatty Manny says you're so talented I've moved to jump to you and I'm very inspired by your videos well it's not really talented. You just keep doing so. If you keep doing something for long enough, you'll get you know you you'll get decent at it. But I am delighted that I'm inspiring you. Delighted, um, and don't be put off. Try things. I you know, generally in a day something will go in the bin because I just don't like the way it's turned out. It hasn't turned out the way I thought it was going to do in my head. So in the bin. Uh, so don't be put off if you make mistakes. It's only paper. It's only paper, yeah. Your biggest investment is your time. So yeah, you saw me do this uh, through the week and it will have ultimately uh, a journaling card of some description in there. Let me just... Obviously it's not going to be this long. But it'll go in there and it'll be held nicely by this uh, cutout that we made. And once again, those are going to go together and I'm going to put a big journaling card in there, pretty much the size of the sheet. Mary Blake says she's new to journaling as well. Oh, well, welcome, Mary. Uh, it's really nice to have you with us. 
during their lives, I, I tend to go quite quickly. I assume a certain sort of level, I suppose, of knowledge and use words that you may be unfamiliar with. But it's just junk journaling. Does, you know, it's not um, astrophysics or anything like that. You know, it's just junk journaling. And if if you get stuck, if you don't understand anything, if you don't know how you should do something or what you can do, message me. Pop over to the group, Miss Painterlot's Junk Journal group. Join up there and nobody ever will laugh at you for asking a question. No matter how silly you think it sounds to you. We've all been there. Absolutely all of us have been there. And so somebody on that group will offer you a suggestion of a way forward or try and explain something to you. If I see it, I'll certainly put my two penneth in. But I don't want you to think if I don't answer it, it's because I think it's a silly question or I'm wasting my time or whatever. It's just, as I say, sometimes Facebook, for reasons best known to itself, doesn't bring up all the posts that I know are there. So, um, but somebody will help you always. We're a good group. Yeah. The Bling Lady's joined us. Oh, the Bling Lady. Hello, Jen. Uh, Mary Blake. <laughs> I can't see her name, but I know it's Jen you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> Mary Blake says she's new as well. Leslie M says you're my favourite inspiration so far. Oh, that's a bit. That's a bit. Don't go off the boil, isn't it? Or you won't be my favourite inspiration anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Nancy says she's also a newbie, lo loves your teaching methods. Oh, blimey, I don't even know if I have any. I kind of ramble, and if you pick something up, that's great. And Carol Beedon says, beautiful pages, my new mantra is, I'm not going to Etsy, I'm not going to Etsy. That's my mantra too, but... <laughs> 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 I sometimes, somehow I always seem to be there, however... I sit in the evening and, you know, if there's a programme on that's not really suiting me on the TV, then um, Mr. F will say, well, shall we put something on? We both want to say, no, no, I'm fine, thank you. So I sit there and I go over and over and over Etsy and I put anything that I quite like into my basket <laughs> until my basket reach, reaches stupid proportions and then I go through and empty some out anyway. I'm sure we're all the same. So this is the other side of that foldy uh, page flower page this isn't shiny it's lovely actually and i'm going to put in there a little side tuck with a little journaling card so it'll all fit in in this side but that's kind of the papers i'm thinking about uh, this is a journaling page from the kit with some lace down it uh, the back of that this is the other side of the birdie one folds out and it's kind of it's about spring and their calls actually um and this it's all about starting to bird spot and it's actually really interesting but i will uh, and i love these birds down here i will put a an envelope or a journaling card or something on in there um just so it's, you're not faced with all that text then this is um the other part of the wallpaper and this is just in a little envelope. I'm pretty sure I gave you the template for that. Um, and I only, the card only had pattern on one side. So I cut out some music paper and um, sort of lined this top part of it so it didn't look um, bare. Uh, that's the wallpaper. I've got some really pretty fabric. It's, it's stripy. This is it here striping it's got these gorgeous little embroideries on it um so i've just made one long ruffle with that because i know i'm going to be using it uh, a few times put a bit of that down there and it, this is a page with lace on so it looks nice against the lace um once upon a springtime down there um quite large journaling tag out of that same book with a thing and this that says in the trees and it's about blue tits it needs something else in there um, but I haven't got around to that yet. This is the plain side of the wallpaper, the back side of the wallpaper. Uh, so I stuck some uh, music paper on there. And this is the Tim Holtz. Um, this, the ideology collage paper. And it's six yards long. 
six inches wide and six yards long so there's loads of it so I, I, I tore off that piece but the problem I had was that the back of this the, the, this paper is white see so and my music paper was beige so I had a bit of a problem because the it was you could see the white it was too blinking obvious so what I did was See, Leslie M says no. She's watched lots of videos, and you're the best. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. That takes a bit of pressure off. Thank you. Kerry says I always do an intake of breath when I see the wonderful, wonderful work. Oh. Um, they love the page with the envelope. And Samantha C says she's new to journaling. Also, started during the lockdown, learning so much. Thank you from Florida. Florida. And Kim Lewis says she loves the envelope. Well, this envelope, it's what you could... No, oh, that's right, that's what I did do. I stuck it down just by the sides, so that actually goes in the back. So short changing you there, guys. I wasn't showing you the entire thing. Yeah, that goes in the back there. I've made the envelope up, but I've just stuck it by those three edges there so as I could get that in the back, and then that goes in the front. And I will make another couple of tags to go in there, but I haven't got around to that yet. So back to my dilemma with this. I decoupaged the birds on, but you could see all the background of them because it was white and the music paper I'd used was aged considerably. So to get round that problem, I used this stuff, which is, that's it, Distress Collage Medium, and it's called Vintage. And it's this colour that you can see, pretty yucky colour. And it's um, decoupage glue is what it is. But it's it's this colour. So when you use it, it makes everything that sort of vintage look. So I put it all over the all over the entire page just to make everything cohesive. And I think it's I think I've got away with that. So that's a tip for you, should you ever be in that position. And that's it, that's the back page, which is these beautiful daffodils, some um, journaling space, and that's the, the back. Right, so where was I up to? I'm just sort of casually going through this, doing things as I come across pages. Um, but that's not to say that I'm not going to go back again afterwards and put some coffee stained paper in um along the way i'm not sure if mr f's trying to attract my attention i'm swatting a fly you're swatting a fly yeah all oh, right okay <laughs> though it's nice to say hello hello hi how are you doing i'm doing all right that's okay then um so let's just this is this page here and it folds out and then we're left with all this writing here which I don't have a problem with text. I love text actually. I really love it. But I'm going to I'm going to put this in here. So as when you open it, you get this nice surprise that that's in there. So let's just put everything else away. And a good tip that I got from Artie Mays ages ago is when you take a page out, do that with what's left and then you know where your page goes because believe me, you'll forget. And then it's ever so annoying. So just do that and you're there. So, right, I've already sewn round, I've cut it out, I've um, punched a hole there with my one inch uh, hole punch. So you just put it in, only, only put it in halfway like that and click it down and you'll get a semicircle there, which is a, you know, it's a thumb hole really, I suppose, but it gives people the idea it's a pocket. Um, and I've sewn it round before I stick it on because once I stick it on, if I were to sew it round, you'd see the stitching on the back and it would, wouldn't look nice. But because I want to stitch everything in this journal, I've stitched it first. So that's where it's going to go. The other tip that I would give you guys is try and keep away from the centre if you can, just even a little bit, because... If you've got stuff there, it really bulks your journal up. Whereas if you move it away just a little bit, 
it'll let it lie just that little bit flatter. So that's going to go there. That's going to go in there. And then I'm going to make a little collage. And look how organised I am today, people. <laughs> I'm staggered by myself. Um, I've got some words here that say, let your dreams bloom, which is lovely. I like that. And I have a whole box, not as organised as Pat Fleet, who's just got a scan and cut. And she's got oodles of butterflies, all beautifully cut out. Well done for fathoming that, Pat. Uh, your butterflies look great. Um, so here's my box of butterflies. Um, there's quite a few in there. Some are um, cut on the... What do you call it? Um, uh, big shot. Big shot. Others I've printed out and fussy cut by hand. Um, Anytime I see a nice sheet of, of butterflies, I print them out, fussy cut them, pop them into there. So I've always got them. So let's get this stuck on first. Then we kind of know where we're going. So I'm going to use, this is another huge um, topic for you new guys, which glue to use. What I would advise you is you buy Fabri-Tac. It's not the cheapest. As far as I'm concerned, it's the best and it will stick anything. It'll stick to fabric. It'll stick paper to paper. You can mess around with other glues that will, are good for this and are good for that. But this is good for everything. So if, you, if you're only buying one lot of glue, buy Fabri-Tac and it will do you for everything. Um, that's my opinion. Doesn't mean to say it's right. And then what I do is... I decanter into these small squeezy, soft squeezy bottles with a metal tip. So you only get a very narrow bead because out of here you get quite a lot at the, the point of there, uh, sometimes more than you want. So with this, it can be very uh, precise. But if you put Fabri-Tac straight into there, it's too thick to come out through the nozzle. So put it about nine parts Fabri-Tac one part nail varnish remover and you'll get a good um, consistency to come out the, the bottle. If you're stuck with any of these things that I'm saying and I'm quite aware that I'm saying quite a lot in a short space of time here, go and join the Miss Paint-A-Lots junk journal group and just ask. We're all there to help you, we really are. So this is card that I'm using here, um, not paper. And I'm just going to put that over to this side if I can. Let's just see where that folds. There. Yeah, I think that's about right. Square it up along the bottom. Lovely. Oh, just moved it. Didn't mean to do that. I haven't inked around this card. I just didn't think it would look right. Similarly, I haven't inked around this page. Now that you might want to ink around the page. I, I did actually dwell over that problem for some while and I decided, no, I liked it like that. So, um, but you know, you'll have your own pages and your own um, thought process as to what you think will look nice and what won't. So that's going to go into there and it fits just nicely on there. And I've got one, of course, for um, because it's a set, I've got one for every month. So that's great. Each signature can have its own bookmark in it and it can be used as a bookmark. Always good. Right, so I've got this cream. Uh, it's just ordinary cotton, actually. It's not calico. It's not denim. It's just cream. I would say patchwork weight uh, cotton. That's what I would say. And I'm just going to put that along there. Like that. And I'm going to have this little purple butterfly there. And that, that's pretty much it. I'm not actually going to add anything more than that, apart from some gems, Jen. Jen, I know. 
I can, <laughs> you can hear John Carter saying, what about the bling? Um, I'm just going to have a mouthful of coffee, guys, this evening. Just doing a roundup at the moment of where people are from. Okay. And Samantha C says, do you have an Amazon list? Uh, yes, I do, Samantha. It's Miss Paint-A-Lot's wish list, uh, which is... Some people do buy me things from there, and I'm very, very grateful. This learning, or hopefully learning, environment here is... Um, it's not a for-profit thing. Mr. Fixit and I never set out to make a profit out of this, thankfully, because <laughs> because we wouldn't. All crafting things, as everybody knows, is very expensive, and I do try and bring you, um, but you know, the the best that I can, and give you the best tips that I possibly can. And so I really do appreciate all the help that I get from people, and I do get um, donations. People donate to the channel. I'm really grateful for that. I I, I really am. Um, and other people go to my Amazon wish list and purchase things for me from there, and they all go into the mix of making this hopefully a better experience for you. Um, that's that's the idea. Even journals like this one here that I'm making, it'll go on my Etsy shop and it will sell for whatever X amount and that gets ploughed back. It, it actually goes into the account that is for this um, and, and the things that I need get bought out of that. So, you know, we're not off to the south of France living the high life with it. We never intended to. We just want to do the best we can so as you can make the best journals you can. So thank you um, for everybody that helps with that. Jen's getting the bling twitches. All right, Jen, it's coming. It's coming. I'm going to stick this on with double-sided tape. Now, if I was sticking this completely over there like that, I'd be all right sticking it on with Fabri-Tac because I could stick this over the top and you wouldn't see it. But the Fabri-Tac will, will ooze through this fabric and it'll look ugly. So uh, I'm going to stick it on with double-sided tape, which will leave no residue. You know, you won't see it. So let's just see. Don't panic, Jen. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut that off there. When you're cutting, when you're tearing your your fabric like this into strips, cut the self edge, snip the self edge, and then rip it, and you'll get this lovely, lovely edge to it. And you'll get some odd threads, pull them off, um, and it looks so much nicer, I think, than just being straight cut. So I'm just going to pop a bit of double sided onto there. And as I say, that, that then means that we won't get any ugly oozing of the glue. Ugly oozing. Ugly oozing. Oh no, stop. Oh no, 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 don't, don't do that. Stop the double-sided then. <laughs> to my page. Right, so just peel that off, which sometimes easier said than done. Oh no, look at that. And stick that so I'm coming right from that edge just covering up that bottom edge there so I think Natalie's off on holiday and I think Nathania's off on holiday so I hope they have a lovely time um, I'm sure they deserve it Natalie has worked so hard during all of the COVID thing um, now this can get glued on because the glue isn't going to ooze through the paper. Uh, Martha would like to know, before you go to decorate the pages, are you cutting them to one size on the wide side? Because if I put all the pages together, there's a minimal minimal difference between the pages. <laughs> we, <laughs> we had a bit of a dilemma, didn't we, doing oh. that? <laughs> um, just one sec till I get this stuck down and I shall... It was me with the oversized guillotine. Yeah, it. Yes, you're quite right. You do. They walk that way, don't they? Um, and ordinarily, yes. Well, ordinarily, I make ring bound journals, and I don't have that problem. But in a 
a sewn in signature like this yes they do walk towards the middle and if you're going to cut them off uh, square just be careful when you fold your pages etc that they're folded within where you're going to cut otherwise you'll chop it off you'll have two bits of paper instead of one uh, with this I'm not I'm going to let it I'm just going to let it walk because I've got folded up bits and whatever and I'm using lace on the edge as well which will kind of disguise some of that walking business so um, yes it's the ideal thing to do I would say is straighten it all up I use my um, my rotary cutter to do that and it's, it does a good job we did try using a guillotine uh, I think it's on YouTube somewhere it was an, an, an unmitigated disaster it didn't work um, <laughs> never mind it just didn't so yeah use a, a you know craft knife or a rotary cutter or something like that um, and it's a good idea to do that I as I say I'm getting round that by putting lace on a various widths so it's going to kind of disguise that anyway. But it's a good point, a very good point. So then I'm going to put this butterfly on. And I'm using the purple with the yellow because I think they are very spring colours. You know, if you think of crocuses and um, irises and that sort of thing, there are, are these lovely yellows and um, purples. So for all, I would never normally use anything quite as bright as this yellow that I'm using for the pocket I think we can get away with it because it's spring so that's why I'm using a purple butterfly and we just have to put some a gem in there otherwise Jen will not be happy Oh, I haven't got any glue on that. Yeah, don't forget, guys, we're doing a giveaway today. We're, do, we're giving three folios away today. So just bear with me and we'll get to there soon. I'm just going to put a gem in here and then we'll have a, we'll have a word. So... Peel back your ears, the word is coming as soon as I've got this gem on here. I might put two gems on, Jen, just for you. These are the smaller ones, I think. I'm not putting the sparkly sparkles on because they're too big. We need to order some smaller sparkly sparkles because those ones we've got are this is rusty. Yeah. yeah. I'll just show you for those that didn't see it last time these are the I'm sure there's a proper way to say it. it's Vorosky crystal gems look at them <laughs> look at them twinkle they're amazing aren't they but they are quite large um, and they're a bit too large for this butterfly that we're doing at the moment but I need to get some more but smaller Keep Jen happy, really. So that's a small one I've got of those other crystals I've got there, and I'm just going to get a slightly larger one for his head end. Everything's so tucked away so it doesn't spill out. It takes an age to get into. Yeah, is that? Oh, that's too big as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's too big. It's too big. It's just too big. Not for Jen. Not for Jen, no, but for regular folk. <laughs> people that aren't sparkly obsessed. Yeah. Yeah, those sort of people. So as soon as this is stuck, Jen, I'm going to give you a word um, that you will have to uh, com write in the comments and then you'll all go into one drawer First number out will be the number one that I told you before. I'll go through it again with you. Oh, please turn over. Thank you. So these are glue fix stones. You can get hot fix stones as well, which I also use. Um, but you need a tool 
for those uh, and this is just a bit quicker for a live and the, you need special glue to stick stones uh, and this is it's called E6000 and it's uh, it is that aforementioned special glue so I'm just going to put a little you only need a tiny bit tiny that's like too much really there and get the lid on it quickly again otherwise it dries in the nozzle and then it's all horrible and I'm just going to drop these two stones there one there and one there right so they can be drying so that's quite nice so when you open that up oh that's quite nice <laughs> At least that's what I would say. Right, so the giveaways, guys, the giveaways. Um, I've lost them, so that's the end of that. Oh, they're here. <laughs> For the new folk that haven't uh, joined us before, I'm going to do the quickest of quick flip throughs of these. Some of you may not actually even have seen the video that I did in the week, so you won't know what they look like either. So... The, these two here are more or less the same. This was the one I was working on, working my problems out on. Um, so it's not quite as uh, polished as this one. But it's nice nonetheless. And then this one is I'll show you as well. So let's have a look into here. It's got a little bulb clip, um, bulb pin with a butterfly dangly just on the, on the bow there. It's just held with satin ribbon around it it's got an eye hole there and it opens up and uh, some butterflies there this is the front page it's got a little flip up envelope there with a tag in it all decorated uh, and then this is decorated here die cuts butterflies sparkle doily lace lace and then it's got this big uh, journaling uh, tag at the back with this lovely ribbon on it. Journaling space at the back. And that slides into there. And this paper here, this kit here, is uh, Wildflower Moments from Chapter 1 papers. And it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, and it's got um, washi tape round right round it there and right round it there just to protect where it bends um so that's the front page this is the next page here and it's another one of these envelopes that i did that you've just seen me do um except this one i've actually stuck down and i've used this same thing i'm, I'm obsessed with this at the moment this card with the uh, design paper cut just short of it uh, and some die cuts and one of these dimensional butterflies with a nice bit of bling in that. Must have done that as a live because I put the bling in for Jen, I guess. And some really pretty trim along there. And then these uh, cards that are the chapter one paper and they're embossed. And they go into there. So there's two, two large ones. Like that, and two smaller ones. They've actually got vellum on them as well, but it's stuck down. And they go into there. And then we have this. This is just gorgeous. I absolutely love this. Let me just get a bit of white paper or something to show you. Look at that. They are wildflowers from yards outside our house. And uh, Nathania put a method up for drying uh, flowers in the microwave, and it just takes minutes. So we picked these, we dried them, and I've now sandwiched them between acetate, put this cardboard, hin cardboard hinge on. So we've got this as an inclusion in our little folio, um, and a very nice inclusion, I think. I like it. Then we've got this lovely pocket. Oh, it's uh, the... This is is held into the thing with uh, twine there. Uh, then we've got this pocket uh, with lace over it and ribbon, a little collage there. And there's lots in there to amuse you. There's a trifold, there's um, 
this probably is my favorite thing in the whole thing the swing um tag there i love that we made that on a live if you want to go back and uh, check it out uh, a vellum envelope there and as i say this trifold so that's a very full page and then on the back we've got this uh with, with bling on this sparkly sparkly envelope uh, well it's an envelope covered and it's got a journaling card in there like that uh, another envelope here and this is uh, embossed paper and I've just used an ink pad to just dance across the top of it and just pick up the bits that are embossed and I used a green pad and a lilac pad and they sort of mesh together you know they it's love i really like that it's nice and of course because i've stuck that on we've hidden the flaps of the of the envelopes and it's got a nice uh, journaling card in that one too and then just to keep them uh and some some bling some bling and i've got just little velcro dot there just to uh, keep it together nice bit of journaling there and that is that and the other one is pretty similar um, so this one here that I'm showing you now is number one in our um, giveaway and the uh, words that you have to use are wildflowers wildflowers so if you want to be in the draw to win please type in now uh, wildflowers and you've got until 20 past 20 past the hour to get that to type those words in and get on the list and then we'll draw it straight away is that all right yeah donna wants to know how you attach the vellum to the paper without it showing i embossed them all together i embossed them both together um. i put the vellum over i printed the vellum then i put the vellum over a white card and shoved them both through on in an embossing plate together that's how i did that I wasn't sure what was going to come out actually but it was nice so there we are so that's that one that's number one um in the drawer where's my little butterfly dangly so if you want to be in the draw type wildflowers and um you will be added to the list and then we'll uh, assign you all a number and see what siri has to say on the subject this, as I say, is very, very similar. And then this is this little one that um, I just found the other day. It's it's really quite nice. It's got a big acetate window there. And when you pull that out, it's got butterflies behind. And it looks very nice. And it's got journaling space on the back. Samantha C says, um well, hey, she'd like to know how to find you on Amazon, so I shall put a link on in a second. Okay. Um, she also says she'd like to see a recommended list. Okay, yeah, what I recommend. Yeah, that's a good idea, I think. Good idea, a very good idea, yeah. As I said, we're not affiliated to anybody. So no, we are just... not, and it's great that we're not, because I can then say I like this or I don't like this or whatever, and I, and I never want to be affiliated to anybody because I never want to lose that freedom. Um, and on this side, we've got this pocket, this little collage, and this uh, little notebook, which is quite handy, I think, um, with a bit of lace down the spine. So there we go. So this will be number three in our giveaway. I, I, I really like that, actually. It's very me, that is. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know when I made it or what mood I was in, but <laughs> I actually made something that I really, really like. So, yeah, there you go. We'll carry on uh, until 20 past. Get your entry in, wildflower, type wildflower. Get your entry in before 20 past and you will be in the draw. That's, I can't make it any more simple. Although something is bound to go wrong, invariably. So, right. So that's that. We've done that. I like it. It's nice. It's simple. Um, but yet, you know, when you open it up, ooh, which is what we're after. So let's just put this back in the journal. So that's going to go there. And then these pages that we took out go there. 
and on the other side I'm trying to do this actually I'm trying to sort of do each side so that opens up like that and you've got all that text can you imagine a plant called touch me not <laughs> sorry mr fix it you're gonna say i've known plenty of people yeah touch me not <laughs> plenty of people so, you wouldn't want to touch. plenty of young ladies in my earlier days touch me not <laughs> i think they got a t-shirt going at one point <laughs> <laughs> Jean would like to know if there is a video on the acetate window. I think we several. Think, I, think I think possibly. Think we have done it before. Not specifically. It's not a title that, but there is videos with them in. Maybe we could do a little one at some point. I'm sure. I was going to do something else for somebody today as well. Oh blimey! I don't know what's gone wrong this week. I mean, ordinarily I'm I'm slightly scatterbrained. But this week, I've been extremely scatterbrained. It's driving me mad, actually. If you were the person that asked me to do something or explain something or show something, can you write it down, please? You know, type it now if you're watching, and I will do my level best to um, start writing some of these to point you in the right direction. Right, OK. So this is, I've just seen policeman's helmet here somewhere. It's just popped out at me. I don't know what, what that was about. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make a side pocket to go up here. Now that's where the fold is there. So obviously I don't want it this width. Otherwise I won't be able to get um, my, my journaling card out very easily. But if that's open, you know, you can, but I need to fold it. So I'm going to just put this against there and I'm going to say that I want it to come to about there okay and I'm just going to line that up along the bottom there and say that I want it to come to there which is about the top so I'm just going to cut that this bottom page is driving me mad at doesn't want to come with the rest of the journal um, so let's just cut those off now for the new folk this is what I use I use quilting rulers and a rotary cutter and I find that you get that's what it was somebody was asking about measuring um, I find you get the most accurate results using these because you can check it along the bottom and you can also check it up the side so if you square both of those up you will get a square and true result. Pencil lines themselves are inherently problematic because, let's just get a piece of paper and draw a pencil line. That, that line itself has its own thickness. So do you measure to the outside of it like that or to the inside? And believe me, that makes a difference. By the time you've added that up to the little bit, you know, on the other side that you were measuring, you could be an eighth of an inch out, which could be, you know, could spoil the look of your thing altogether. So make a rule with yourself that every pencil line you put down, you'll you'll measure to the inside. That's what I do. You can do the outside or you can measure directly on top of it. Um, and with all your pencil marks so for that pencil mark there i don't even know if you can yeah you can see that so i'm going to measure to the inside of that so this side of that and i do that with every pencil mark that i make um so so i've got some chance of being accurate so when i do that i can still see my pencil mark and because my ruler is square if i line line it up along there then this edge here is going to be square i'm going to look a total prat on time when it isn't square <laughs> oh well that's just the way of the world so this one here i measured that way so i'm going to put this down and I'm, I still want to see my pencil mark to the left of my ruler. So if I get my 
um, grid in the right place, I can straighten it up along the bottom here. And take your time, it's really worth taking your time. So that should be square up there. And make sure also, this is the joy of quilting rulers, that you've got this line up here to square things up with. So square along the bottom, really flush along the bottom, and then the side should be square as well. So that <coughs> should be square. So let's have a look and see what it looks like. I'm just going to take this page out again because it's annoying me keep you moving the thing. So this is going to go here and it's going to go to there and blow me down if it isn't square. Right, so that's fine, but I want to put a bit of design paper on top of it and I've chosen this with a really nice lilac. So I just want to to cut that out marginally smaller than our piece of card that we've just cut out and I'll sew around it and stick it onto there. Are people entering? Uh, people are entering and they're saying some lovely things. The bling lady says, Fiona and Mr. F are so generous to all of us. They give their time and talent and never ask for anything in return. That's why I love them. <laughs> Thank you, Chen. Thank you so much. And Jean says that, and Nilda, yeah, nobody seems to like us, obviously. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. And um, Thank you very much. What I was reading a minute ago, bear with. Uh, do, 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 do. Maureen Hooper says, totally agree. There is a lot of behind the scenes work that goes on to make the videos, etc. It's very much appreciated. Well, Maureen, thank you very much. Thank you for that. It's really kind of you to say that. Actually, I think you'd be staggered if you knew how much work went on behind the scenes to make this. I seem to be forever scurrying around trying to do things to get them ready for lives. And I'm quite sure that the lives look so totally... Like I've never, like I've never seen the things before in my life. <laughs> and Jean says, "Heck, I don't have to win. I just want to touch it." What? What? She doesn't want to. She, heck, she don't, don't. I don't have to win. I just want to touch it. <laughs> oh, 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 all right. Who, who said that? Jean. Jean. Okay. Here you go, Jean. Have a little touch of that. Have a little touch. A little touch. <laughs> We're all mad. Right, look, getting back to this, <laughs> let's try some semblance of normality. I want this. That'd be a first. It will. <laughs> it will. I want to have this purple, purpley card um, slightly larger than, the, than this card that I'm going to put on it, okay? So I've brought it in just a little bit from that edge, and I'm going to mark it here similar sort of distance so I can get a border all the way around. And here I'm going to bring that just a little bit in from the edge and I'm going to mark it there just a little bit in from that edge. That's the plan. Let's see if it works, eh? So it seems to be about there. What time did I say they had to have their things in by? 20 past. 20 past. Uh, you may wish to repeat the word, just in case there's some people out there. The it. word is wildflower. Wildflower. So get it in quick. We're just, nearly at the end. Just type it in the comments. Type it in the comments. I've lost my mark now. But not more than once. No, not more than once. Please. Let's keep it fair for everybody. I've lost my mark here. <laughs> I've lost my mind. <laughs> so I'm just making another mark and cut that off. Nobody's, I bet you nobody's watching the thing I'm doing. I could be doing anything. Mary Blake tried twice. Did she, Mary yes. Blake? You know. 
Haughty woman. Off to the naughty step with you today, Mary. Yeah, so far. It's been empty today. But you're still in the draw ones. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Right, so let's just have a look and see if this is the right. Yeah, look uh, at Don that. Don wants to know, uh, do you work it in every day? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Every single solitary day. Because uh, I do... All the stuff that you see me do, I also do commissions, which um, I don't show you because they're personal to the person who's uh, commissioned me. Um, and But once again, that money, um, I can assure you, gets ploughed back into our channel and our, um, our lives. But it all takes time, uh, you know. As, as you can appreciate, it all takes time. So what I'm going to do is sew around here and then stick it onto there. And nobody gives a damn. <laughs> nobody cares, do they really? Maury Newper says she was going to try under her other name. <laughs> That's sneaky, isn't it? Are you at the sewing machine? Yeah, about the sewing machine. I'm going to put that camera on there. Yeah, you have really. <laughs> so I'm just going to sew with a straight stitch around the edge of here. Um, you could zigzag round it, whatever, but I'm, I like just straight stitch. It's nice and neat and tidy. It's been very, very interesting getting everybody's collaborative pages, everybody's pages for the collaborative journal, just to see the different styles that everybody has. Really, really interesting. And there's some wonderful work come my way, I can tell you. This journal is really, it's really going to be a thing of beauty. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, <laughs> which wouldn't be the first time, over on the Facebook group, um, Miss Painter Lots Junk Journal Group, we are doing a collaborative journal whereby everybody in the group who wants to join in and it's not mandatory or obligatory or anything you know just do it if you want to um is sending in uh, an a4 sheet so let's take that one that's probably the easiest so a sheet like this uh, either a4 or um, letter is it i think in the states folded in half like this and i'm asking you to decorate that page that page that page and that page for insertion in a journal so as you know you might unless you're in the center spread you won't see both sides so um, don't do something that goes right across both uh, and the only stipulation is it has to be about birds and or butterflies it can be in any style that you like it can be coffee stained paper with stamps on it could be as elaborate as you like, but please spare a thought for me who's going to be collating it and putting it into the journal and try not to make your pages too thick because our journal is going to be about a nine inch spine or something, you know. So, um, but, you know, basically do what you want in your style and uh, send it to me. You'll find my address in the rack list. And if you can't find it, just uh, PM me. I'll you know, give it to you. Um, and so they have to be in by the 14th of this month, although the postal service is still not quite back to normal yet um, with this COVID uh, pandemic. So if, uh, if you need a bit of leeway, that's fine. Um, you know, I'm not going to say no to a, a journal entry. Uh, so that's over on the Facebook page. So pop and join us. You can enter digitally, of course, as well. I meant to say that, yes. If if you're in the States uh, or you're in this country and you're on, uh, you know, can't get out, you're shielding, or you don't feel that you want to go out, and I can understand that, then you can submit your entry for the Collaborative Journal digitally, take a photograph of the front or each page or whatever, forward it to us, we'll print it out, and it will be in the journal as well. So... Um, there's no 
I mean, postage from the States is so expensive, it's ridiculous. Um, so if, you, if you're thinking, well, I'm not, you know, I don't want to spend all that money, and I completely understand that, then just take some photos, send them to us. I think we've probably passed the line. Passed the cut off time. So I've got a list there if anybody wants to check it out or put it there. Right, okay. If, if anybody can see themselves that aren't on the list. Let's get to the top. Uh, and Samantha C was just asking about the sewing, so many questions about sewing on paper. Uh, Samantha, if you look through the other videos, there's one, in fact two, I think, that's specifically on sewing on paper and free motion embroidery on paper. But any problems, any if questions? Any problems, then uh, let us know and we can always sort out a link. So if you can't see yourself on this list, shout. So you can put it on the table, we won't be able to see them all in one. Shout loud. I'll start at the top right again. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. Hilda, Donna, Cherise, Leslie, Jean, Carol, Jen, Martha, Who's that? Chatty, oh, Chatty Nana, sorry. Uh, Karen, Carey, that is actually. Pat, Roz, I don't know that name. Lynn, oh yes, it's Lynn Yvonne, yes. Maureen, Sharon, Helen, Deborah, Kim, Lynn, Ruth, Karen, Flo, Nancy, Janet, Melinda, Max, Mary, Samantha, created by uh, Michelle, Michelle and, and Edie. So if I haven't just read your name out, shout now. Okay. Um, yeah, I've just got yours flow. Um, so Jen, I'm, I'm thinking... I'll count them up, allocate some numbers and we'll be back to you in a minute. Yeah, I'm going to stick this on here. I'm going to carry on regardless. <laughs> Because that's what you do, isn't it? You carry on regardless. Thirty names, I feel. Thirty names, that's good. That's great. So there will be three numbers. And I'm just using a uh, glue stick here. And if I'd remembered that I'd sewn it, I wouldn't have used glue stick because it gets stuck in the in the stitches and I don't like it. I don't know what that is, but I don't like that either. Looks like a bit of muck. And I'm just going to stick this down onto here. By glory, you will watch this today. <laughs> oh dear. So that's a fairly central there. So you see, I've sewn that before I've stuck it on because if I put it on like that now, just stuck it without sewing it, then when I sew, sewed it, you'd see all the stitches through there, and, and I, I don't like that. I've got an itchy eye. So that is now going to get glued onto here. I'm just going to bring it just a touch away from that uh, central part that's going to be sewn, and I'm going to stick around these three edges. And I shall use my faithful Fabri-Tac. So let's just double check. Yeah, that's the right way up. And I don't want to stick this edge. Okay. So it's quite exciting having a giveaway. I love giveaway days. So let's pop this down here and then we'll see if Mr. F's ready for us. I'm just on randomize.org. Okay. <laughs> just randomizing the list. Okay. Right, so what we need now is a journaling card, or two journaling cards even, if you wanted to. But I think one's probably sufficient. If you're using these um, little bottles that I've suggested, that when I do get around to making a recommended list, I will put these on. Make sure that you put your pin in the end because that's so narrow that bit, it dries really quickly. And then you can't get your glue in. And if you push it down with a pin, you get a blob of glue that blocks the thing. So just keep putting your pin in. 
uh, every time you use it. So that's looking quite nice. So what shall we use for a journaling card? Well, I could use text and do it as I've done. But I've got text there, so that's maybe not a good idea. Perhaps a bit of um, our paper. I think that might even be the paper that's in there. That might look quite nice. That would certainly matchy-matchy, wouldn't it? And see what else I've got. See what else is on this paper, these pages. That's nice, isn't it? I love that. It's so pretty. I love pretty. I really love pretty. I love flowers. So, yeah, I mean, we could use that bit there for a journaling card. Mm -hmm. Could do. There's the uh, random numbers so people can start chanting. Okay, get chanting. Down down Bring bit. down a bit. There you go. Look out for yourself and see what numbers to your left. That's your number. We all all right? We all spotted our numbers? Okay. Don't forget the inclusive. Yeah. Right, we're going to do the draw, guys. Do doing them all at one go. Mm-hmm. I'll just write the numbers down here. Let's spit them out. Am I saying it? Mm. You say it. Hey, Siri. Select three random numbers between 1 and 30, inclusive. Thirty-one between one and thirty. She's added them all. Oh, stupid Siri! Stupid Siri! Hey Siri, pick three random numbers between one and thirty, inclusive. She's just mad. She's adding them up. What's wrong She's with the woman? She's mad. She's been on the drink. She even wrote three random numbers. Ask her for one random number. Hey Siri, pick one random number between one and thirty. In okay, I found this on the web for pick one random number between... <laughs> what is wrong with her? She's never done this before. <laughs> She's bonkers. You have to say inclusive. Yes. Hey Siri, pick a random number between 1 and 30 inclusive. A random number between 1 and 30 is 5. Yay! Ask her again. Repeat that please. Hey Siri, pick a random number between 1 and 30 inclusive. A random number between 1 and 30 is 19. Hey Siri, pick a random number between 1 and 30 inclusive. A random number between 1 and 30 is 19. <laughs> Come on, again. Siri, behave. Hey Siri, pick a random number between 1 and 30 inclusive. A random number between oh. 1 and 30 is 5. Siri's rubbish. <laughs> She's having a right mirror of a day. Hey Siri. Pick a random number between 1 and 30. Inclusive. A random number between 1 and 30 is 23. Yay. Finally. Goodbye. Forever. Have a ride down. Sorry, so, picked the wrong day for you. Number five is Maureen Hooper. She gets number one, which is the first of uh, the lilac fol folios. Number 19 is Leslie M. Oh, Leslie. There you go. Uh, and she gets the second. And number 23 is 
Helen Adams. There you go. You get the nice little uh, green folder. So there you go. They will be on their way to you promptly. If I already don't have your list in the you know your address in the rack list, could you private message me please with your with your address, and we'll get those sent to you as soon as we possibly can. Monday will probably be the earliest, so they'll be on their way to you. So that was a bit of a debacle, wasn't it? Longest draw in history. <laughs> ah. Oh, blimey. So there you are. Our winners again are Leslie M, Maureen Hooper and Helen Adams. Not in that order. The order is Maureen Hooper, Leslie M and then Helen Adams. So there you go. They'll have to give you the addresses on the group, I guess. Cause we... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you said that. I, I presume, I'm, I'm presuming here that you're all a member of our group. If not, can you go to... Miss Paints a Lot's junk journal group and join up and private message me if you want to or have a look under files or the rack list and you'll see my address um, and I'll get those sent out to you. So congratulations to our winners. Well done. I think that's probably <laughs> brought an end to, to proceedings for today, to be honest with you. Um, it's brought me to an end. It's, yeah, it's brought us to fix it. It was shuddering halt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor devil. I, I think it's because we've got Siri set to her lady's voice. Do you think that's what it I is? I think it is. She goes all the flutter when she hears it. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. She gets all naughty. <laughs> oh, naughty isn't a word people might understand. But um, So which way? Yeah, we've got that. And there we've got that. And I'm going to put a journaling card in there. But I won't subject you to that today. I might subject you to it tomorrow, though. <laughs> oh, there, then again, I might have moved on. So there you go. We have made um, some steps with our journal. Very limited, but at least you've seen what's going on, what's uh, happening. And we've made the, the draw for the giveaways. And congratulations to those three people that have won. Uh, I'm very pleased for you. And we're, don't worry for those ones that haven't won. Um, we, we have giveaways fairly regularly the things that i make on lives um we, we give you know we, we just give away usually <laughs> well sometimes we just do it randomly yeah sometimes we just randomly do a giveaway mm. anyway thank you very very much for joining me everybody you've been a great group today you've been really chatty and i love it uh, and I look forward to tomorrow at exactly the same time, exactly the same place. And I'll be sat exactly here just before you go. Have a look at that paper clip again because it's so, it's so funny. It makes me laugh. Um, thank you, Flo, so much for that. Um, thanks, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.